You ran out of breath. I wasn't ready. No. <clears throat> Start over. All right. Take it from the top. Yep. Ready? Mm-hmm. Three, two, Thursday morning, get your paint on today. Today. The the stare that you're giving gets <laughs> amazing. I wanted him in on the thing. No, because it wasn't the two thin coats of paint song. That was a good song. That was a great song. So it's Thursday morning, it's 10 a.m. It's get your paint on today. Today. And we are painting a ghost pirate. Like a totally spooky ghost pirate. That's accurate. I forgot to grab paper towels. Whoops. Whoops. You are bad at your job. Just I, use your pants, accurate. Dallas. I'm your host, Dallas Kemp. And joining us today is Mr. Writing Manager, Matt Getz. Hello. Hello. And on our soundboard, the mix master of the masterist of mixes <laughs> is Mr. John <coughs> Coughswinkles. Yep, I'm dying. <laughs> so we'll see if we can make it through the hour without John passing out and uh, just dying on the floor. If he does, I'll just start turning knobs. I don't know what they do. Let the swinkles hit the floor? Yes. Now the stare you're giving me. So, hello everybody. We're painting up Gast Ghost Stone Cross. Is it Ghost Stone Cross or Ghost Stone Cross Bones? Or Ghost Stone Cross Ghost Bones. Ghost Stone Cross Ghost Bones? Ghost Stone Cross Ghost Bones. So, in, in a battle of ghosts with bones in their name, how does he rank against, like, say, Jimmy Bones? J oh, Jimmy Bones. <laughs> Jimmy Bones will straight cut you. Jimmy Bones. So, I have two versions of ghosts um, that I was going to show. So, I have a turquoise ink and coal black version. And I have more of a pale arcane blue, and I think I'm gonna go with this pale arcane blue ghost. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. Ah, oh, this is the best. Gunter das Hinnel in über das Meer. Clancy Ihr Brown. Seid Piraten. Clancy Brown is my hero. Clancy Brown should be your hero, because the Kurgan approves this. Well, he played Rawhide in. Uh, Buckaroo Banzai. Mm -hmm. Clancy Brown is everywhere you want to be. I'm going to tell you right now, Buckaroo Banzai And is, wherever you go. There you there are. There you are. It's one of my most favorite movies ever. Y yeah. You and me both. Yeah. I love that film. And I've shown it to people, and they're like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. And I'm like, you need to leave the house, sir. All I know is when I saw Ocean's 12? Okay. Whichever one that De Niro's in. Right. Right. His, his The lady who's his assistant. I believe is, that's is, Ocean's 13. Okay. Well, anyway, that's Penny. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's Penny. <laughs> I mean, what is there to get? Dr. Banzai is simply a neurosurgeon astrophysicist who happens to be a rock star with the Blue Blazer regulars, a gang of small children who do his every bidding. Yep. That's amazing. Like, that's not hard. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> God, I love that movie. I would, ah. We've talked about this. We have. If they recast now yeah. who would play what. Yeah. And we both agree on who would be Buckaroo Banzai. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what's his name? Cillian Murphy. Cillian Murphy, yeah. Oh, good call. Yeah, Cillian good Murphy. Good call. Uh, Roxy. Is it Cillian or Killian? I, I've heard I, both. It's probably Killian. But yeah. Roxy and I sat down and tried to recast the entire film with modern actors. Mm -hmm. uh, Perfect Tommy who, I don't know who played him in the original film. I don't know the actor. I don't think that guy ever went on to do anything else. Uh, but James Franco is as Perfect yep, Tommy. Yep, I'm in. Okay. Yep. yep. Who plays Penny? Oh, God. I don't know. Because it's got to be someone with, like, real good timing. Yeah. Because that, that would be a difficult role to pull off. Today. Scar Joe. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know. So what made you uh, want to paint Gaston as a ghost, Dallas? Um, this was a community voted oh. um, project. This is the community said, paint a ghost pirate. And I said, okie doke. I'm just trying to figure out what, what's going on in Gaston's life that he, uh, he throws the whole revolutionary fighter thing away and 
to besides to just, just well to become a ghost and a pirate. I mean, life is full of twists and turns, gets. That is true. It's a, it's an interesting path that we take in existence, and who knows where this path took Gaston, Ghost Crossbones. Maybe he was just into the hat. Like, ghost stone, ghost bones. Yeah. I'm imagining... Ghost stone cross, ghost bones. He's like, Laylee's fighting. Yeah. And like, everybody underneath him is just sick and tired of him always just speaking in pirate accent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's just like, you're not a pirate. We're in Lael. Yeah. And he's just like, Arr, tis right. We are in Lael. And this is where we fight. And they're like, N no, you're not a pirate. And he's like, I, maybe I am. Maybe I isn't. And he's just like, I'm just going to go be a pirate because you guys suck. <laughs> I need you to turn your head on the wheel of this conception. I've been a pirate the whole time. <laughs> That's me secret. I've always been a pirate. <laughs> That's me secret, Cap. I'm always a pirate. Yeah, I'm into that. So I have... <laughs> <laughs> Hulk, plunder. Oh, Jesus. You I mean, were saying writing writing manager Matt Getz, everybody. Just, that's canon. <laughs> that's canon. Stryker says he heard they have yargaritas. Yargaritas. Oh. I want a yargarita. Hey, hey Dallas, what's a pirate's favorite letter? You would think it's R, but it is the, the C. C. <laughs> <laughs> so I have mixed uh, back uh, <laughs> back to the action. I have mixed um, arcane blue, necrotite green, and uh, carnal pink, and this makes a lovely verdigris color. Um, it's also very close to um, what I like to call archantric green, which is um, what we, uh, it's a mix that we use for retribution glow. Um, very useful. Um, and then I've put a ton of mixing medium in this. Now I'm watering it down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash. Oh, Gaston. So ghost bones. Talk me through the color theory of putting the carnal pink in there. Is that just to like warm up the tone, or? So it warms it up, and it also it works as a really good desaturator because it's opposite on the color wheel, mm -hmm. um, and it lightens it. So it does. It, it's it's multifaceted. Um, it lightens it up. It desaturates, um, and it gives a little warmth to all the colors that's happening. So, and you can mix this in different varying um, ratios. And I know Shik. I'm surprised Shik hasn't crashed through the door and been like, "I'm sick of your mixes, Kemp." <laughs> um, but. You can mix these in different ratios, um, making it more blue, more green. Um, I played with a couple, couple different versions of this before, um, doing that more green, more blue, more pink. Even mm -hmm. um, you just find what you want. This is very minty right now, and this is just straight over top of this um, mm, white minty. minty. I I'm minty fresh. So, do you think Gaston would be running around the deck of his ship saying, Ah, who wants trident? Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, ha, tis not the gum, but an actual trident. Poke. Get it? Get it? Pirate jokes. It works on multiple levels. <laughs> Just like the decks of a ship. Yar. Yar, yar, yar. This is either the best or best episode of Kitch Paint yeah. ever. We're either getting raises or pink slips. I'm not <laughs> sure. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so there's a big secret here. I'm washing um, and I'm trying to go as fast as possible because this is very wet. I'm getting all the areas before they dry so we don't get like little puddle rings and stuff like that. Also by just washing an, an element and then moving mm -hmm. on um, maintaining the elemental the elemental, the element, uh, you can keep those puddles. But I'm just getting it in the crevices and kind of wicking away from, wicky, wicky, away from the rest. So obviously this color is going to build up as you add more of it on, right? Like Yeah, like this other thing. Oh, your mix is Kemp. 
Um, we're going to do another wash after this. Um, and then you could do the, the more or less depending on what you want to achieve and so what you're going for. So if you're trying to sell the translucency, though, do you want to have your colors build up more toward the top of the model or more toward the bottom? So that's a funny thing, right? It's like um, painting stuff with interior lighting is real tricky because you're reversing everything, right? Mm -hmm. So like if it's glowing from the inside, that means the shadows need to be white. Um, that's hard. Um, so for miniatures and wargaming, you kind of just fake it. And yeah. You just kind of let the, the recesses be the recesses and darken it up. So I'm going to darken these up with this minty uh, archantric green color and just making sure my washes are all appropriately and because this is such a faint color it's actually kind of really hard to see so i'm gonna play with some some knobs and levers wow that is real hard to see yeah like so it looks we're gonna, we're gonna see way what different in person here but it's kind of got like a a toothpaste quality in the actual room right yeah or isn't the point of a ghost pirate to be hard to see? That was another ocean joke. Yeah. No, I, did you get it? I, I did. I caught that one. It wasn't a good one, no. but it was there. No. Under the arm. Under the arm. So I saw somebody ask the question, um, will his face be painted normal? And I'm going to say, no, he's a ghost. But we could do fun stuff and make his weapons normal, eh? Kind of like a transition from translucent to rigid. Yeah, he's like he's like, like it's I'm, phasing into existence. I'm incorporeal, but these pokey daggers, <laughs> they's real, and they will bleed you. So, this is really my first time seeing the model in person. Does he have a soul reaver on him? Well, what's Soul Reaver? It's his oh, mystical his quad iron. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yep. Just He's... jammed down the front of his cummerbund. Yep. Like a pirate. Fun fact, cummerbunds, like you know how you wear them for prom? fancy events and prom and like some weird bougie weddings? <laughs> so they're actually a holdover because people used to keep dueling pistols in them. So it's this last little vestige of like a more militaristic, polite society. So you're saying when I was at prom 20 some years ago, I should have dueled somebody with pistols. You should have. You should do one right now. I mean, a prom, not a duel. Wow, that is blown out. Yeah, I'm playing with this. Minty, fresh pirates. not get the blue to come in it's too faint well he's ghostly he is ghostly No, no, that's red. Yeah, but if you cack that red up, you can see the, the you can at least see where the blue shadows are lined. There you go. See it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see what you mean about like the verdigris kind of color. Yeah, it's very verdigris. Uh, do we still have a blow dryer up here? We don't. So my next mix, while this is drying. So I'm going to take that color that we already have established. And we're going to add some iron hull gray to it. So I'm going to water that down. And another drop of mixing medium. Yeah, that blue's not.
not showing. They can't see me wash. Yep. This is about as good as I can get it. That's all right. We'll take pictures when he's done. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking we should do the the daggers normal, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't you think? Do you think that'll look cool? Agreed. Agreed. Agreeable. Like, I can see them being sort of spectral, incorporeal, like he is, until he goes to shank somebody with one, and then it just passes, like, into, into reality. <laughs> uh, if that's a reference to the new movie, shut your mouth, because I haven't seen it. So we're going to use a little cold steel on these blades while our washes is drying. We have a technical issue of height. I'm going to give up my chair. Yeah. And just apply that. So Dallas, Sabian yep. has a fantastic question for you. I want to answer it. How do the models go from 3D rendering to physical objects? Because I think there's somebody that you can call out who's very important to that process. Um, that's a big, long process, actually. What's the question? 3D rendering to what? Physical objects. I mean, it, ta it takes a team, right? Um, there's a lot of hard work involved in that. And a lot of teamwork, and we, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how to explain all that. That's a, that's a whole thing. It's like a whole thing. Scissors. Try to get behind a little Phillips. Uh, should the handles or no the handles should still be ghost and then we'll blend some of that ghost up onto the blades yes yeah yeah John's messing with the color so your hands look like a ghost for a second Whoa! I'm jaundiced okay we'll just continue with the cold steel across there. One of those 3D things, like every object in the world, or? No, like the blend between the models and the Hmm. I'm trying to think, has there ever been a 3D film about pirates? Was that 3D? I don't think it was 3D initially. Well, they, they did like a 3D remaster or something? I, I think they did a 3D version. I'm thinking like Jaws 3D though, like your, your classic red-blue, now, now it's time to put on your glasses. Not sure. Yeah, no, no. Dallas is over here putting on some metals and how many pieces is this model? Um counting the separate hat. The hat's separate? Does he have hair under under that hat? No, he's got a bandana. Nice. Uh counting the separate hat for. He's arm arm body hat. I dig it. And today is the last day to get him, right? Today is, in fact, the last day to get them at minicrate.com. So if you want .com. your own ghostly pirate. Or regular pirate, Gaston. Or regular. 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 Arugula pirates. Arugula pirates. Sonian Stream just called out the film Ice Pirates. No. Ooh, ooh, no. Oh. Never Ice Pirates. What are you talking about? 
Ice Pirates? I, I love that movie, I know. Apparently the sound is real low, too. I just adjusted okay. it, so we should be much louder. Much louder. Oh, we've, we've got a very gentle tapping at our door in one second. A, a tippity tap at the door. Come in. Hello. Oh, it's Mr. Brendan Roy. Mr. Brendan Roy? Studio painter extraordinaire, Brendan Roy. Hey, what do you got in your hand, Brendan? So if I had a soundboard, I could have, like, applause. Oh, my God, I'd love it if you had applause or, like, Brendan had his own theme song. If, if what, I, yeah, but if I yeah, well, John didn't play. It. So what is this? This is the new mini crane model. Hey, hey, Brendan. There's Do a microphone over here. You should probably talk into that. Pick up the mic. It is the new mini crane model. Are we allowed to show this off? Yeah, show it off. All right. Oh, I I, I realized I just put it like in screen for like a split second, so they just got a little, little. A little taste. A little, so a little this taste. is the new mini crate that goes on sale tomorrow. Yes, if you subscribe, well, if you subscribe now, you'll get it as well. But if you subscribe anytime between, well, anytime before August 19th, you will also get Iris Angel of Vengeance. The Angel of Vengeance. And I'm going to go ahead and say the wings, uh, Brendan just finished this up a couple of days ago. And these Day wings look yeah. fantabulous. She's got her little belly tattoo. She's got her little eye tattoo, and everything looks really and her fantastic greens and her browns and everything are showing up just fine. And it's funny because when you put her next to it, I can start to see the blue on uh, Gaston. <laughs> it's like he's so pale. He's so desaturated. So Angel, uh, Eris Angel of Vengeance, the new mini crate that starts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She is awesome looking. Are you gonna paint one for yourself? He says probably. I don't know if you can hear him. Thank you, Brendan. Everybody say bye. Bye, Brendan. Bye, 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 bye Brendan. Oh, oh, oh there was a some special goodbye to Mr. Matt Getz. Matt got some. Wow. You don't know what we're like. Wow. <laughs> wow. Striker says uh, the angel of doom. Uh, accurate. accurate. Yep. Accurate. Um, so yeah, that's the new mini crate. It looks super fantastic, and I love it. I love it. Yeah, no, it's great. I uh, I was sitting here thinking about like, so iOS and ladies get wings now. That's that's going to be an issue for everyone, <laughs> especially Viros. <laughs> yeah, just, he's gonna hang. She's gonna hang out with his bird now. Yeah. yeah. What's his bird's name? I have no idea. That's fine. I'm the worst retribution player ever. I have no idea what Don Lord Virus's bird's name is. All right. Does it have a name? It does. Does it actually? Yeah. I'm, I'm making this up. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's even on the card. And I. <laughs> no, I don't think it's on the card. I thought it was on the card. Is it? No. I no, it's not so. on the card because there's no special ability tied to it. Is it well, Squawk? No, it's not Squawk. That sounds more like a croak name to me. Squawk. Riker's Iron says the bird's name is Terry. It's not Terry. <laughs> I suspected as much. No, but he uh, he has what bird's eye as the ability, right? Because yeah. of his his super fun bird. Because super bird. Yeah, super bird. So what is is it? Thunder bird? chicken. Thunder chicken. Oh, please tell me it's thunder chicken. It can be now. It can be now for you. Don Lord Viros, what does thunder chicken see? That'd be amazing. So. Somebody in stream is asking if the Steelheads stole the bombards from Kador or kidnapped the people who invented them. I, I mean, you could probably just observe, like, hey, that's a giant gun with a huge bore, and it certainly blows the hell out of these people. Maybe we could do something similar. I mean, that's definitely how war works, right? Yeah, you see something, or you find, like, a broke piece of one in the battlefield, and you're like, man, that's kind of cool. I want one. I will this. take that. Yeah. That's how, like, your Steel Creel got, like, all their stuff, isn't it? Yeah, they just found it. I was like, this is mine. Oh. So, what, so what is the bird's name? I'm not telling you. No. Oh, my God. You got to tell me now, please. I'll, I'll tell you. Oh, yes. I'm, I'll tell potato, you. Potato, potato. I'm not telling him. Okay, that's fair. No. Uh, bird doesn't have a name in anything. It's Squawk. It? I'm getting this big S-eating grin from Getz. S-eating. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good censoring. Yeah. No, so is... Uh, Ghost Stone Cross Ghost Bones going to be part of like a company of iron list? Are you going to do more ghosts? Oh, sh should I? I think you should. 
I just is this didn't. your idea or Chad's idea? Because no, it it's my idea. It's, it's his. Oh, see, then I don't care. There you go. Doug Seacat says the bird's name is Jiren. J Y R E N. Jiren. Why? Why'd you tell him, Doug? Because I wanted him to just suffer. I wanted him to get just an ulcer because he was he was sharing it with everybody. <laughs> sharing it with the chat. Knowledge is not to be hoarded. Gets you stole that from the people in chat. You I stole nothing. That. They still have it. But yes, his bird is named Jiren. Okay, I kind of want to do the ghost uh, company bar now. Sure. And we have lots of pirates to choose from. Well, they don't all have to be pirates. Maybe they're just thematically you united by, by ghosts. No. They all have to be ghost they pirates? All, they all have to be ghost pirates. Because I can take Gaston 1 in Company of Iron. Correct? Because he's a journeyman? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oz put rules no for... No quarter five. Yeah, it was no quarter five. Mm -hmm. So I can take him and... Uh, Devil Shadow Mutineers. Oh, the, I love those models. So good. Um, and some Shard Pirates. They're not in the same faction, but screw it. Company of Iron, do what you want. Yeah, do what you want in Company of Iron. Official ruling. Yep. I like, don't know if that's official. But dude, you made a, th a song for it. Uh, the, 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 does the song make it official? Yes. If it's put to rock, oh. it's real. Rock and real. Nailed it. Yeah. It's like rocking the vote, but not. Oh, man. Rocking the vote. Mm. That's similar to rocking the boat, but on like a political uh, spectrum. Yeah. If you're going to take a war jack with him, a light war jack, which you can do with a those buccaneer. rules. For a Dude. buccaneer. Yep. Every time. Yeah. Although, what I would do, Dallas, because... To be perfectly honest, though, if you're a pirate and you rock the boat, it's probably political. That's true. Um Squeal -a 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 <laughs> what did <it> do? <laughs> so Dallas, uh, yes. I realized that like for tournament play, you got a lot more strict conversion rules. But for Company of Iron, like we just said, you do what you want. I do what I want. So I would take like the Vanguard kit, the new one, or not the uh, Vanguard, but the new Crucible lights. Vindicator. Vindicator. Thank you. And I would kit bash Which, that. Into... I need to bask in this for a moment. Yeah. I, I have. They to. all start with a V. I know, but still, I've never in my life been able to correct you on something Iron Kingdoms related at all. You'll so you'll get more opportunities. Wallow in my crapulence here. <laughs> anyway, take the Vindicator kit and kit bash it to be the uh, the Buccaneer, because it's like a Laylee's jack that he just took along with him. Yeah, I, li I like that idea actually. Like taking the the new kit and kit bashing a Buccaneer. I'm actually I had a couple other Company of Iron lists in my head. Yeah. That involves some kit bashed um, um, war jacks. So this is not a bad idea. I can't. Patrick does the war jack be ghostly though? Why not? Yeah, why nightmare not? goes ghostly. Yeah, put some put some extra necrotite in there and call it good. I mean, considering it's a Laylee's jack, any necrotite would be extra necrotite. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just. Two One dollop of necrotite. <laughs> what are you doing? It's like the sea foam of the Iron Kingdoms. You know? yeah. Shove some necrotite in that. Yeah. Problem solved. Patrick Augustine suggests taking Ragman in your list of ghostly uh, people. I well, like not Ragman. a pirate. Approved. Well, you could make him. He does you have know, his you jaunty could, hat. Make, you could very much make him pirate. But he does have his jaunty hat. Yes. And actually, I wrote some fiction for Company of Iron in No Quarter 5 with Ragman and Gaston together. So, well, there you go. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Wait, so Ragman and Gaston are already hanging out? Well, not like like buddies. They're not going to cheers together, but <laughs> they were... Uh, Everybody knows your ghost name. They were, uh, you know, killing dudes. Standard IK fare. <laughs> yeah. Either being killed or killing. Yeah. That's that's all there is to do in the Iron Kingdoms: farm dirt, build something that like kills people they or die. kill people. Well, what about the goop farmers of Crix? That's like dirt farming. It's just a different kind of dirt. It's just like a slippery dirt. dirt. Yeah, it's just slippery gooier. dirt. Gooier dirt. No one likes slippery dirt. <laughs> no one likes slippery dirt. So what you're saying is the only occupations in the Iron Kingdoms are suffering. Correct. Okay. You have said as much. <laughs> well, it's not You've a, at least alluded to it. It's well, not the best place to live. It's like the worst. So, uh, 
So we're dealing with this Grimkin thing, right? There's yeah. all these horrors coming out of our nightmares to torture us for like sins that we've created, that we've committed, that we're you know not necessarily entirely you know aware of, right? Right? Because we right. don't know the rules unless we remember the rhymes, right? <laughs> and so that was bad. <laughs> and there's plenty of other ways to die in the Iron Kingdoms. You know, Kador fighting, you know, Signar, the Protector, being like, well, oh, wrong god, <laughs> on fire for you. Right, and then now, boom, infernals. Well, okay, you're you're neglecting the fact that this is all just a logical progression of events. Right? Of That's such. True. Well, yeah. <laughs> if for the denizens of the Iron Kingdoms, it is a logical progression of God. God damn it. Wanted. <laughs> Life is pain, Wanted. princess. Battlefield assistant must ha must have ten years of uh, suffering experience. Oh, easily. Hey, oh. I'm eleven. Sold. There you go. <laughs> That's right, get eaten by Tharn. Well, you, come on, man. That's just Tharn performing their, like, cultural rituals. If, that's true. If, if you don't acquiesce to being eaten after being killed by a Tharn, that's just you being a bigot. Yeah, I mean, you don't get to acquiesce. Yeah. You're dead. <laughs> well, but, like, in the Iron Kingdoms, there's dead and there's dead, right? Like, there are people who come back in undeath just because they died in the swamp kind of unpleasantly. Sure, sure, but there there was another force at work. In this case, the force at work is the Tharn eating your heart. Yeah, well, there was another force at work. I, I suffered a cave-in, yeah, and now suddenly unless, I'm undead. Unless you're Barnabas, you don't get to choose those forces. Well, I disagree with that. Nah. There are a lot of people who uh, who can choose their forces. Like, any Gator Man Bokor can just walk out in the swamp and be like, Hey, hey, come here, Swamp Spirit. Swamp Thing? Come here, come swamp swamp thing. thing. No, not Swamp Thing. Did you say Swamp Ferret? I didn't. He said Swamp Ferret, I think. Nope. You. It sounded like someone did. 20. I said Swamp Ferret. Now I want Swamp Ferrets. Is this how we get Swamp Ferrets? Could be. Do you want Swamp Ferrets? Because um, that's how you get Swamp Ferrets. I want Swamp Ferrets. You know what? If if I have the opportunity to write some swamp-based fiction in the near future, I'll just make sure there's a ferret in there for you. Just swamp ferrets. They'll be like slow. You're, you're the writing manager. You can do what you want. Can't uh, you? I mean, within within reason. I like when Neil J says a jaunty hat-themed company of iron need Lord Rockbottom. Oh yeah. So this is my theme now. It's just jaunty hats. hats. Well, uh, Doc Killingsworth has a, a fine hat. A fine pirate hat. Not and really. a great name for pirating. Yeah. So now I'm gonna. So, uh, anyways, while y'all were having a, a mature jawing, and reasonable conversation, yes. While y'all were jawing over there, uh, I took um, Iron Hall Gray mm -hmm. and mixed it in to my base wash, and I washed the deep shadows. And then now I'm taking sickly skin and I'm highlighting. Now this can be dry brushed on or painted on your choice. You make the decisions here, not me. I'm just showing. Okay. Yeah, I don't have the iron hole gray swatch. I'm just going to bring back some of that white on the edges. And this has a little touch of that base wash color back in it as well. I've been, I've been looking at this long enough now that I actually see the blue. <laughs> um, nailed it. Oh. Roxy just asked, what about Lord Longfellow? Is his hat not jaunty enough? Lord Ooh. Longfellow? He's pretty jaunty. Roxy, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wasn't going to say anything, Roxy. We need to talk. Is she actually in here or are you just taunting me? No, she's in here. No, nope, I see it. Roxy, we need to talk. So you did an initial very light wash of arcane blue, necrotite green, carnal pink, mm -hmm. right? And then you did a second one. Mm -hmm. And what what was the purpose of the second one? Just to thicken the color? Or? Uh, it adds gray, and so that gets down. And I kind of concentrate it in the deep shadows, mm -hmm. and it adds a bit of gray, uh, which gives him 
a really interesting look. Was that the iron hole? That, yeah, it's the iron hole mixed with the first wash. Gotcha. You mix the iron hole into the first wash. Um, so we are currently on that second wash. No, this is the this is the highlight. We oh. we skipped that because y'all were talking. Yeah, we were. Y'all weren't watching me paint at all. Well, we were watching. We were just also talking about um, adjacent things. <laughs> so yeah, we did a second wash with iron hole mixed into our base color, and now I'm highlighting with that base wash mixed with um, sickly skin mm. to bring back that whiteness to the upper surfaces. You can dry brush this. This does not have to be uh, painted on the way I'm painting it on. Um, I'm just doing it the way I do it. But you can do it the way you do it. I ain't gonna stop you. I'm not the I'm not the paint police. So Hitacool says, uh, if uh, you replace the arcane blue and Carnal Peak with a stronger red, would that make it like something more nightmare-y like, uh, like Grimkin? Uh, I'm sure you could come up with something. I need to play with those colors to see what I would do exactly, but I'm sure you can make a really awesome red flamey ghost very easily. You know, uh, when I was painting Crust, my... My gorehound, I started on a black base instead of a white one. Yeah. And I uh I just like built up those reds. I think I I mixed some Crick's Bane base in there. Mm -hmm. So I'd get mm -hmm. a little bit of the kind of desaturated, more crusty blood look to it. Then I went over the top and just laid some some brighter reds in on the muscles for striation. Yar crusty. When you first said over the top, I I had something else in mind when you like I went over the top. I Arm turned my hat up. around. Turn your hat around. You went on a, a long road trip with a child, hopefully well, your son. It's not any child. It was his son. Yeah. And his you, estranged son, though. And you won his heart through arm wrestling. I think over the top is the quintessential canon film group. Film. Agreed. I got my microphone in my way. Roxy, no, not about Lord Longfellow. Travis asks, uh, what kind of hats do I see at the IK Haberdashery? At the Iron Kingdom's Haberdashery? Yes. That assumes there's only one. I would well, bet. at the Haberdashery. Oh, like the... The, the, the so, one Sort of like, like the Leroy's of the Iron Kingdoms? It's Leroy. 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 Oh, sorry. He pronounces it Leroy. I did yeah. not know that. Yes. I very seldom have a, very a need entertaining for dude. orange creamsicle suits, so I haven't gone in. There's always a need for orange creamsicle suits. <laughs> Try harder. I mean, if I could, if I could pull it off, I'd do it. I, I think. At, anyway, so at the, the haberdashery. At the haberdashery. You're probably going to find a variety of like bowlers mm -hmm. and top hats, but with like metal mm -hmm. plates already integrated into them. Fantastic. Uh, some bicorns, some tricorns. Um, the you, riveted tricorn. The riveted tricorn is, you know, like the tactical tricorn. Wow, that is the most coveted of tricorns, the coveted riveted tricorn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yes, Roxy, I know that Leroy's closed. Sad yeah. day. It, it was a sad day for us all. It was a sad day for America. For those of you who don't have any idea what we're talking about, um, it was a phenomenal shop in downtown Seattle that sold... Like, basically pimp suits yeah essentially yeah but but like, not like a costume no these were legitimate like, these were legitimate like way out there like just amazing like suits. joker purple zoot suits i go to turning crag to buy a cowboy hat that, okay yeah if you want one that's probably probably the best location to find it I think, you know, you, if you're into Shemogs, you're looking at the Protectorate, mm -hmm, kind mm -hmm, of the mm -hmm. northeastern perimeter there, sure, up, in the, sure. up in the hills. Just just make sure, you know, you bow to the creator of man. Sure. Otherwise, uh, you get set on fire. Let's see. Or put on a rack. Or put on a rack. One or the other. Um, 
if you want Ushanka type hats, you're you're looking of up course. in Kador. Of course. Or actually parts of Rule because Yeah. Yeah. You know, there there's at least one example of a, a rule folk with a giant fur hat. So. Right. Dwarves gotta keep their nuggets warm too. Yeah, it's true. So are we still doing the layer with the sickly skin? Uh probably. Most likely. We're just highlighting that up, bringing some of that ethereal glow in there. And after this, I'll do one more highlight of like pure sickly skin. Like I said, this could all be dry brushed on. But by doing this this way, you're avoiding that kind of chalky texture that you get from a dry brush. I mean, a good dry brush can doesn't have to be chalky, mm -hmm. right? Um, by going very very light and removing almost all the paint off the uh, the brush, you can get some pretty amazing transitions actually with um, with a dry brush. Very easily. So it's just the the volume of paint that you have in your brush that causes that? Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm starting to be able to see some of the greens in there as it gets built up. Yeah, well I mean we'll definitely take a picture of this. I'm not gonna paint this whole back. We'll do that. I'll do that another day. Um, I've actually never painted a ghost. Really? Never done this. Well, you you've done the more ethereal glow in like your your ember host and stuff like that, right? Like yeah, or as, or as yeah. we mentioned, like the the kind of the ghost flames on the top of the uh, pistol wraith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but never I've never painted like a full ghost man. Just gotta accentuate the face and bring in a lot of that glow. Like I said, this can be dry brush. You don't have to. You don't have to blend. You don't have to do anything. You can dry brush this and still get a really awesome effect. I got transfixed for a second. Uh, so Roxy says, Dallas, it seems like you're going for an overall look of bleached canvas and or bone combined with a shading scheme of supernaturally kind of ectoplasmy tones. Say what? Um, there's no there's no bleached canvas bone because uh, it's not yellow. It's going to look yellow on the screen. Um, once we take a picture, there's no yellow to this. Uh, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. So the gray, by mixing the gray in there, putting it in the deepest shadows, it does give that like, um, like like depth and almost like see through in a shadow. Like there's shadow on the backside of stuff. Like because you're seeing through things. It's but. So yes, she's she's correct, but I wouldn't use bleach bone necessarily because there's no yellows. So the the people who are on chat right now don't get to have the experience John and I just did of mm. seeing you talk with your hands, because you were you were almost performing like automatic sign language or something over there. It was pretty amazing. You've seen me talk. Uh, I'm <laughs> literally seen you talk. I am yeah. I am probably. Pretty animated. Like if I had to guess, because I don't look, I'm probably pretty animated when I talk. Yes. So, I, so because chat said so, mm -hmm. no one dies like Gaston, comes back and revives like Gaston. Accurate. Stands there as a ghost, but still stabs you with his knives like Gaston. That's correct. Okay. That is correct. Um, oh, you know what we should talk about? What should we talk about, Dallas? Matt, have you seen the competition we're doing? For Monster Apocalypse? Yeah. You're talking about the Color Your Own uh, Monster Apocalypse 
Yeah. Um, is it Guard and Planet Eaters? It's Gorgadra and Defender it's, X it's, right now? It's, it's all, all six. six. Of the oh, it's all monsters. six. Nice. Yeah, so I, I knew about two of them because I've seen a few floating around online. So you've got your Gorgadra. You've yep. got your Defender X. Yep. You've got your Ares Mothership for the Martians. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, Zor Maxim for the Shadow Sun Syndicate. Uh, did I ever say Terracon? No, nope. you didn't. Terracon for the uh, Terrasaurs. And then uh, uh, Cthulhu for the Lords of Cthulhu. You say Cthulhu? Cthulhu. 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 No, yeah, I I heard Cthulhu. when you announced the the competition. I I dig the idea of it that that you were describing. Um, is there something specific about it you wanted to mention? I just wanted to mention that people should be doing it. Well, they should, and we should give them some maybe uh, motivation to go out and paint that. Because speaking of, because like th just much like this is a community voted painting project here, Mr. Ghost Stone, that's going to end up being a company of iron list, apparently. Um, so people... One winner they... is going to get a painted version of their monster painted by me. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, uh, come around September 1st, when the contest comes to a close, mm -hmm. um, I am going to go and collect all of them that I can find, and I've already begun, uh, that people have posted publicly or on Twitter, Facebook, and groups, so long as it's, again, public, so that I can find it. And if they put the hashtag FP3MyMonster on it, I am then going to deliver all of those to Dallas and his crack team of judges. They're going to pick their favorite color scheme. Mm -hmm. no matter which monster it is, then they are going to go get that monster as soon as they can get that, get it in their little hands. And then Dallas is going to paint that monster in that color scheme. And then that monster is going to jump in a mailbox and go to the winner. Nice. Is there any way we could get a link in chat for people who might not know where to go get those? Why, yes, we can. Yes. That would be fantastic. Link in chat. Link in chat. Link in chat. Private tier press. Dot com. Lincoln chat. That's just a short conversation with President Abraham Lincoln. Yep. Yeah. He's like, I'd like to have a Lincoln chat. And he's like, my good fella, come on in and let's have a chat. That is absolute. He wasn't he from Indiana or Illinois. Like that is not Lincoln's voice. I don't know what he sounded like. Well, apparently he sounded like a teapot, according to some correspondences. So, like steam coming out of a team pot? Like, like he had a high-pitched, high nasally voice, which is hilarious considering he was a human monster. Not not like right. from his actions, but he had like uh, Marfan syndrome or something like that. He would grab people by the neck in wrestling ma matches and hurl them like three meters. Damn. Yeah. That's probably why he was a vampire hunter. Yeah. Because of uh, that superhuman strength. Superhuman strength certainly contributes to your capabilities as a vampire hunter. Look, if there's one thing you're going to vote for to get when you're fighting vampires, it's like, uh, go ahead and give me that superhuman strength. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, <laughs> are you sure you don't want to create, like, you know, sparkly sparkles? Nope. No, nope. I don't want that Let's power. Let's go with the no, superhuman if, strength. If I'm fighting vampires, impervious neck. Imper <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> I realized they could bite me other places. What but... are you going to do now? <laughs> Bring Dracul. it. cool. <laughs> Bring it, Vlad. So we do have uh, links. Drac cool, more like Drac fool. Oh. Oh, sick burns. Okay, pure sickly skin. Pure sickly skin. For the final highlight. Only the sickliest. Do, 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 do. We're painting Gaston Cross with some sickly skin. We make him look like a ghost. Who he's came died. back again? Ooh. So many people to stab and faces to shoot. Faces to shoot. This is what we are doing. Not a rhyme, but doesn't matter. <laughs> Depleted garlic rail cannon? That's a pretty good get. Yeah. That's not a superpower. That's an item. It's okay, though. Yeah, but by, by saying that, you're disqualifying both Tony Stark and Batman. Uh, being rich powers. isn't a superpower. 
I don't know about that. I got real world. You can be born with it. I got real world evidence of this. You've got real world of ev evidence of being rich, not being a superpower? Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to go really fast here because I want to get to another thing. It's kind of funny because, like, even though you know the colors aren't nec the the blue especially isn't necessarily coming through on this camera, which makes me continue to want a new camera. Um, the definition showing up more and more on the model mm -hmm. is kind of interesting to watch. Like, it just become more and more defined, even though the the blue's not necessarily coming through super well. Yeah. Well, this is a weird question from chat, Dallas. Um, I love weird questions. Striker nine one one more. just asked, "When do we get to meet Jordan? Who? Who? I I don't I don't know. Is there somebody? Well, there's well, the, the photographer. Yeah, Jordan. or yeah. photographer Jordan. Yeah. Um, Friendly if you come to Lock and Load Striker, you'll be able to meet all of us there. Uh, Lock and Load twenty nineteen now. And there's no T in his name. It's Striker. Oh, it's Striker nine one one. S Riker. S Riker. S Riker. S Riker. S Riker. I wonder if S Riker and Riker's Iron ever fight. No, but they, they are often in streams together. So, like, I'll go over into Riker's Iron's stream every once in a while, and Striker will be there. Oh, okay. Together forever. Yeah, Pagani just said, stop making people up, Striker. Yeah, I'm not hi, sure. Hi, Pagani. Oh, hi, Pagani. Here, I'll, I'll do it for him. What up, dog? Not sure who he's talking about, so I don't know. So, uh, how was Pagani's ice cream cake yesterday, Dallas? I didn't have any of it. Um, that was my ice cream cake. Oh, it was your ice cream was, cake. It was all of our ice there cream was, There was ice cream cake? Yeah. Yeah. I also did not get any ice cream cake. It was cake. good. I was just talking to JR and, and Schick, and suddenly... Dallas, Hungerford, and Pagani come in with an ice cream cake shaped like a like a beer mug. I'd eat that. Sure. It was uh it was mint chocolate chip is what it was. I'd and eat that. I'm gonna tell you right now, there is no better flavor combination in the world than mint and chocolate. Mm. Fight me. Mm. No better flavor combination in None. the world. None. What about Guinness and Bailey's? No. Nope. In a cheesecake. Or whiskey and bitters. No. Nope. Oh, dude. I've discovered something. Mm. Whiskey, ginger, and limoncello mm -hmm. is amazing. I discovered mm -hmm. something, too. Chocolate and mint. <laughs> hey. I don't think you discovered chocolate I and don't, mint. I don't think no, so. No, I did. <laughs> Very adamant about it. Uh, Oz says none of his superpowers involve being rich. And I'm going to tell you right now, Oz is full of superpowers. Uh, Anthony Martinez brings up peanut butter and chocolate. Not as good as mint and chocolate, but cool. Uh, but I mean, like, it really depends on the peanut butter you get, right? Because you might get that stuff that's, like, too oily or too thick, and then it just ruins your chocolate. Mm. Mm. Nobody wants that. I certainly don't. At all. Roxy asks, so if uh, if one wanted to stay on your good side, a grasshopper pie is the way to do it, question mark? Uh, yeah. And Roxy, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> He's been on about this all day, so I yeah. can't wait. I have almost responded to her so many times, but it never comes out right. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy just said fight me Dallas what? no no <laughs> no we just need to talk oh Pagani wants to be a part of that talk too <laughs> he wants to be a part of it so much he put an interrobang at the end of his sentence uh little known fact the interrobang is my favorite of the punctuation marks really yes Excellent. I love it I do too you know my favorite is when the uh, question uh, the question mark and the exclamation point share the same dot. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the, the best. The best. That oh, is the like, best. Like when they do it, like, kind of off tilt. Yep. Mm. Interrobangs are very popular around the writing office. I don't know if you guys were aware of that. I, I love interrobangs. It's my favorite of the exclamation points. Or not the, the punctuation marks. 
There's nothing better than good internal bank. I just want a shirt that just has a big internal bank on it. We can make that happen. That's true. There's technology that exists. We, we have the technology. It's called the internet and custom shirts. Okay, so this is pretty much all I'm doing is just uh, doing sickly skin final highlights on him to kind of bring out that definition. And I think this guy looks ghostly as hell. So can I ask one question? Because he's got that Warcaster armor on. Yeah. Is, are there ports in the back where you would normally see that coal glow coming yep. through? Oh, what should we do? Oh. We got five minutes. What do we do here? What should the coal glow, soul glow? Soul glow. Soul, soul glow. glow. Soul glow. Yeah. So soul we got to do the, the necrotite style? Yep. Yeah. All right. I'm in. Sold. Sign me up. S O U L E D. Soul. Uh, so I need yellow ink and necrotite green because that's how you make the soul glow. And that just dumped my yellow ink straight into black ink. Uh, I, you know, we had just started and then Roxy and Travis started shouting about Strange Light, but I. I I think we have to stay the course. You've already. I mean, I can do strange light instead. Would it? Would it? Would it? Ma okay. From a canonical Sur stance, Mr. surprise Gates, us. What makes more sense? I, honestly, I would. I I hate to go against Travis and Roxy, but I think it's that soul glow because strange light and that purple glow right, we've associated right. so much with with the Grimkin and right. the ability to to see like the invisible things out there. So it just makes more sense to me to have that kind of brilliant green okay. prixie and glow there so necrotite green and what else yellow ink we're gonna mix those together and make a like real gross green necrotite wash and we're gonna put that in there well that shows up actually we're gonna kick that up just a bit we're gonna go with some pure sickly skin and paint it in there Boom. Still had it. Still had it. Because there's like a bunch of uh, gray in there. Roxy has acquiesced to seeing what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to put... We're also going to put up in the stack. Just It doesn't make sense, and I hate glowing stacks. But because he is primarily one color... I want a little visual interest. Mm. And that because he's a ghost, so it's going to glow through things that it might not normally glow through. Fact! I, oh, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm, so I'm going to take a little bit of uh, black. I'm going to mix it into that uh, color of gray I had earlier, making that a little bit darker. And I'm going to go ahead and paint. Thamar black or coal black or boiler uh, th black? Thamar black. I can't wait till I get my Gaston crossbones. Yeah. That hat is dope. And so what, what's awesome is if you get the, uh, the VIP subscription to Mini Crate, uh, right now the bonus... Uh, Mini is Mrs. Walls, mm -hmm. based off the original. Mr. Walls. Yeah, yeah. Who is not only a pirate with an awesome pirate hat, pirate monkey with a gun. Yeah, she's got a helper monkey with a gun. That's amazing. Pirate, pirate monkey, monkey with a gun. With a gun. Yeah. Who gave that monkey a gun? That monkey didn't. That monkey took a gun. That's right. That monkey Yeah, no pirated, one gave that monkey no, a that, gun. That monkey pirated himself up a gun. Yeah. You know, if there's one thing that I think is that more simians should have access to firearms. Is that something you think? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> I mean, kind of. <laughs> well, I mean, how about endangered, like monkeys and apes? We give them guns so they can defend themselves against poachers. Because, like, poachers suck. And capuchin monkeys or... Uh, but are capuchins endangered? No, they're not. But I didn't think so. Pygmy marmosets with a gun? Yeah, but aren't the Capuchins just going to come take the guns? They're going to take the guns. They're going to take the guns. They're going to take the guns, then they're going to take some booze. Right. So they're going to get all rummed up. And <laughs> this gets better and better all the time. Pirate 
capuchins. Yeah. No. So Pirate rubbed up You know what a pygmy capuchin. marmoset is, right? The little thumb-sized monkeys? Yeah, they're little teeny tiny guys. Yeah. P- picture a family of pygmy marmosets working together to operate a flintlock pistol. I'm in my happy place. Yeah. Just they're little chirps. They're just running around. Like one of them's opening the frizzin and getting some powder down in there. There are two well, of no, them one's that are holding the frizzin open. The other one's getting the powder down. In yeah. There. And like two of them are working together to roll the ball into the barrel. Yeah. And then they all grab the ramrod. They back up and it's like they're trying to break down a castle door with a with a battering ram. I like it. Yeah. Roxy says, y'all learned nothing from Monkey Shines. <laughs> True. Yeah. Learned nothing from that movie. <laughs> that was a monkey with a straight razor, though. That's slightly different. <laughs> More terrifying, I think. Oh, Vandebeest. Yeah, what if drunk endangered monkeys end up shooting each other? That's a good point. That's mm. a really good point. Yeah. That's just natural selection. Mm, no, because we gave them tools they weren't equipped to deal with. <laughs> Monkey should have learned to hold his mud. <laughs> <laughs> Handle your high, monkey. <laughs> yeah, that just doesn't. No. I can see Gaston Crossbones walking by uh, Mrs. Walls, just like, that monkey can't keep himself clear with the creature. <clears throat> just wanders off. Drunk monkey falls on the deck. Now you know why I'm a ghost. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know a ghost can't be drunk. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Have, have you studied how the effects of alcohol work on necroplasm? Necroplasm? Mm-hmm. Necro. Not ectoplasm. Necroplasm. Necroplasm. That's a new thing. That's yeah. totally new. It's it's spookier plasm. Dude, it's spookier plasm than ectoplasm? Mm-hmm. Man. It goes so deep. Yeah. So can can I throw something out there for you? Like a can cannon you? for Gaston crossbones? Um Ghost Stone Crossbones was killed by Mrs. Wall's drunken monkey. Yep. But. Cannon. He still keeps him around. <laughs> because you know what? That monkey <laughs> can sure shoot a gun. <laughs> that monkey's seen some things. <laughs> that monkey's eyes. Dead eyes. You, like sir, a shark's eyes. Sir, you do know the monkey shot you. I, but only once. That <laughs> <laughs> was all it took. So who's in my... Who's says, in... Wait, is the necroplasm the slightly stickier dirt we were talking about? No, that's just necro-goo. Necro-go. So who was what, Dallas? Who... I forgot. Who's in my company of iron list? Because... So all I've heard was names just thrown out constantly. Okay, do you want to go jaunty hat ghosts, or do you want to go pirate ghosts, or just straight ghosts? I mean, just all pirates, I think. Okay. okay. Well, so then you do need the uh, need devil the shadow, buccaneer. the devil shadow mutineers. That's that's a hundred percent duh. Uh, Mrs. Walls works. Sure, sure. Uh, or Mr. Walls, you can have them both. I feel like Bloody Bradigan would be Bloody Bloody would be a good ghost. But is he better? No, because he's got like a Jacob Marley thing going on. Yeah, he, like yeah. Yeah. the chains I carried in life. Right, right, right. Hmm. Hmm. So even though not a pirate, mm-hmm. right? And I don't think you can take her because she's a war caster attachment. No, you can because you can take the squire and stuff like that. Madeline Corbeau. Sure, that right? would be. She, she's she's got like, like the a, tavern owner not or a something. Good pirate. What's that? Not a pirate. No, no, but, but she's got to be like they've got to have like a ghost that they come sell their ghostly wares to. She she's like the lady that uh, Jim Hawkins worked for in Treasure Island. Yeah, sure. Or your Kira Knightley proxy or something. Your I don't Kira know. Knightley proxy. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember her. Plus, character's with, name. with that dress she's wearing, she would just make for a super sweet ghost. Like it's oh, got yeah. all the little frogs and like trim yeah. and edging and everything on it. Um. Would you do a, a ghost Killingsworth? I do like Doc Killingsworth a lot. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Ragman is still actually a really yeah, good Yeah, I, I like Ragman in this list. He's not technically a, a pirate, but maybe he's sort of like uh, Ion and Holt. He's Hawk. like Oh, yeah, Hawk, definitely. Hawk, definitely. M- maybe Ragman's the Ion and Holt of this ghost pirate ship, sure. where he's like their passenger. He's their... Rag- Ragman and Hawk. Yeah. Now that's a movie I would watch. Ragman and Hawk sounds like oh my God. a 1970s detective film. I know, I want it. Hawk, we got news for you. 
Your new partner just arrived. His name's the Ragman. I don't have need for a partner. I work alone. You're a loose cannon, Hawk. <laughs> Mix in your paints. <laughs> Band of Beasts says, I don't know the context here, but it doesn't matter because it's awesome. Monkey Sharks with Flintlocks. Monkey Sharks. What? Like, which half is monkey? Which half is shark? Or is it just... Uh, is it, is it, it like matter? the thing? Is it even 50-50? Or is it literally just a shark with, like, monkey ears? That would be the worst A shark with monkey thing. tail. There you go. Or a monkey with a shark tail so it can swim mm. faster. A monkey with a shark mouth. Yes. Oh, now that nightmare mode <laughs> well that's just that's basically a baboon right right but like with multiple rows of teeth mm -hmm. and a gun and a gun and yeah. a gun <laughs> you just add and a gun well, to any nightmare because he said specifically with flintlocks yeah <laughs> roxy says yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like the sequel to hudson hawk ragman hawk yeah oh somebody just threw a great suggestion for your your company of iron list Gorman de Sea Wolf. Gorman de Sea Wolf. You know, I still have one, and it's unpainted. Mm. Mm. Uh, I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have one. Yeah. All right. Any any other last minute details to add before we close out for today? Um. Go paint your. Don't paint. Draw color in your Mon Park. You can use paint. You can use paint. Use P3 paint. Use Mario paint. Whatever. Um, Man, what I else? miss Mario paint. Anyway. What else? Uh, so go to the URL that I, I, I put in the chat uh, to get more information. But realistically, the, the brass tax is, is go to that URL. Download yeah. the images. Color them in whatever way you see fit. Take a picture of the uh, colored things or do it all digitally. Put it up on the internets, either on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Make sure it's a public post that I can find and use the hashtag FP3MyMonster. Anytime between now and September 1st, I will collect them all. I will deliver them to Dallas. He and his crack diva judges will pick a favorite. That color scheme on that monster will then be painted by Dallas Kemp in that color scheme on that monster in the really real world. And then sent to you for freezies. What, what's you. that uh, hashtag again? FP3 my monster. FP3 my monster. Yeah, like Formula P3. Formula, Formula, P3. Formula P3. My FP3 monster. my monster. Yeah. And um, I think the only other thing I want to talk about is Gen Con is in two weeks. Show is, which means Formula P3 Grandmaster. Oh uh, yes. We are giving away dope prizes. We are giving away. Dope feedback. Come by the booth. See all the awesome stuff that it we will have. It costs you nothing to enter. You just need to bring your model. Yep. Lots of cool stuff for sale. Um, lots of cool. Just come by. Say hi to your favorite PP staff, which is all of them. We're almost all going to be there. Oh. And uh, enter the p Grandmaster. The only ones that, uh, there are two of the significant ones that will not be there will be Mr. Matt Getz mm -hmm. and Mr. Will Pagani. Correct. Because they having babies. They is having them babies. Like, not together. No. Just But in a similar time frame. In, yeah. Coincidentally, both you and your partners are having children. Mm -hmm. So I am going to miss out Gen Con, which is too bad, because I wanted to hang out with you, Dallas, and you, John. Um, and Travis. I'm still mad and Travis. Oh, Travis, Travis, Travis I'm going to miss you. Uh, I'm and still mad at you, though. I always, I always really like when people come by and talk about what they like that we do. Just the energy and enthusiasm that you get at a show like that is fantastic. Yep. So I am going to miss all that, but I get to meet a little tiny human which I haven't met before. Which no one has met no before. No one. You get to be the first person to meet this Among the first people, yes. Yeah, uh, there may be a doctor. There may be a couple other people. You just push people. your way to the front of that line. Roxy yeah. just pointed out, it's going to be a completely different kind of monster apocalypse. Yeah, with Accurate! <laughs> it's a baby, so there will be more poo. I don't know. I, I feel like the pterosaurs probably. I don't know. I feel like they keep it contained. What, like, like rabbits? 
No, like I feel like it's it, it's probably like a, a big old mess, but I bet like there's like a team that like comes and cleans that up right quick. So you think Guard has a special unit that's just the uh, the the monster, pterosaur, the, pterosaur the monstrous pool? waste disposal T- service? pterosaur waste disposal? I'm uncomfortable. The MWDS. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. The monster waste disposal service. You're uncomfortable, Dallas. Now. <laughs> Ghostly pirate! I'll post pictures of this so you can see the blue yeah, we'll, and stuff we'll like that. Yeah, we'll get those up on the, on the Facebook and the Instagrams. While uh, I continue to pester Shick about getting me new camera and soundboard. So that I can play applause sounds and stuff like that. When oh, Grogspar! Grogspar's in! Yeah. Totally good. Thank you, Anthony Martinez. And somebody says, Pat uh, Veloda Jr. says, Can't Rengrave. Captain um, Rengrave. I can do whatever I want. You can. I think he meant I- C-A-P-T. Maybe I don't know. I'm just going off the English, and I'm saying Fair. I can still do it, even if I can't. Company, you're fine. You do what you want. Aren't you the world champion still? World champion. That's accurate. World champion of Company of Iron. Nicely done. I won the Iron Arena. I did too. <laughs> so did I. Yeah. All right, folks. Uh, catch you at Gen Con, and catch you next week on more. Get your paint on, and until next time, Mr. Matt Gatt, say goodbye. Goodbye. Mr. John Swinkles. Yeah. Say goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bum 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 bum. Oh wait. Do, 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 do. Get your paint on every Thursday, 10 a.m. 10 a.m.